Hello, ladies. Hold on. I have no. Hold on. I have no lights on. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. Forgot my lab shirt. Give me a second. <laughs> And just give the camera a minute to, to adjust. There we go. Hello. Good evening. Uh, yeah, so Tuesday, that means it's live streaming night. And we're going to play something silly, something lighthearted tonight. We're going to jump in and uh, and continue in uh, in Breath Edge. Uh, streamed this like a couple of weeks ago. It's a fun game. I had a bunch of fun with it. And I thought I would share it with you guys. I think it works quite well as a live streaming thing, so... I don't know. Um, in case... I need to just quickly upgrade my... Uh, my graphics here. Um, <laughs> in case you don't know Breathage, um, it's a very silly space survival game. The idea is that we are on a... We were on a spaceship, um, but the thing it just exploded into a million pieces, and now we're just flying through the wreckage in our spacesuit with limited oxygen, trying to make it to some kind of extraction point. Um, and then we'll take it from there. I don't really know much more than that. Um, we're trying to survive. There's some crafting. We need to collect materials. Um, so I think without further ado, let's just jump in game and uh, let's see what, we, uh, what we're going to get ourselves into of, uh, of troubles today. Okay. So, we made it to this little extra second, like, home base. This little chamber that survived with an airlock. So there's our airlock. Um, mission right now, you can see that the upper right corner is, as you say, lower radiation. And we have these markers out here, but they're kind of far away. Like, 1.8 kilometers, 2 kilometers, more than 2 kilometers. Like, they're, they're quite far away, all out in that direction. There is that thing there, which is closer, which is kind of in the right direction. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to try and go in that direction and just see how things go. Um, I do have with me a... Um, I have an oxygen candle so we can refill in emergencies. I also have an oxygen station, so my plan is because we can't make it all the way there um, on our on one tank of gas, one tank of oxygen. So my plan is just go as far as I can in that direction. And then just before we run out of oxygen, I'm going to uh, to set up the oxygen station so we can refill. And then hopefully we should be able to make it the last bit of the way there. Um, we might actually want to take a second oxygen station with us. Um, can we craft just because then we could put one up out there so we can actually explore because... Yeah, we're going to need a second one because otherwise we are out there and then have no oxygen. So we're going to actually need to have a second oxygen station with us. Um, objects, stations, oxygen station. We need an oxygen candle, thick electrical tape, and aluminium. And for the oxygen candle, um, we need metal and a battery. Okay. We need metal. We need... A battery. If I knew your exact location, I'll be able to help you somehow. This is another person that's apparently alive that's been sending us messages. Um, we needed thick electrical tape and another thing that I already forgot. Um, Stuart said, I'm impressed my water bottle is coming from America. That surprised me a little bit. Yeah, so some of the items, it's really weird. Some of the items, they say they can manufacture them in Europe, but if they're if they are out, they will manufacture them in the US instead. It's 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 silly. Um, well, it makes sense that they're doing it like that, but I would wish they would have... that they would just have more stock, uh, more supply of them in, in Europe. Instead of, instead of that. But that does happen sometimes. Objects, stations... Aluminium. Uh, lead. Plastics. Aluminium. Yoink. Equipment. Oh, objects, stations. Oxygen station. Let's build another one. Boom. Okay. So now we're also very low on actual space. So we don't have room to pick up a lot of things. Thank you. 
So we're just basically gonna try to focus on exploring as far as we can here. So there's an object up there that could be interesting, and there's this big thing here that could be interesting. To explore, and there's something down there and down there. There's also lights, so that's often a place we want to go. We're using the um we're using these thrusters, which which you get by uh, by building what is it like a tube, and then you need to eat a shawarma, and then you collect gases. And you naturally produce gases that you can then use to, uh, to propel yourself through space. Now this is a big honking rock right here. Are you still in the start area? No, we made it to the... We, we are past the first chapter now. Okay. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to make it all the way. Oxygen is low, so we better go and use and in we go and then refill our oxygen here while we are while we're at it. Refill it all the, all the way, please. Okay, right, let's continue. I feel like we're on the wrong side of this rock. Or maybe this is inside that rock. Oh, there's also something over there. Something spinning. It's definitely it's below us now. Is it inside this rock somehow? Okay. I need to be able to be, to move back now because I'm getting low on oxygen here. really need more oxygen so we're actually running low on uh, not sure we're gonna make it back to uh, to that oxygen station there and just and I have to burn that oxygen candle and then make it back okay so that was a little bit more to I think it's inside this rock somehow um so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna refill again and then let's try to go into this thing. Actually, there was a thing up here. Let's start with that one. So the storyline is that we were we were on our way to a, to a funeral on a big spaceship. The big spaceship exploded. And we don't really know why, but we're trying to survive, and we're trying to... Uh, we call for rescue, um, but we need to get to the rendezvous point where they're gonna come and pick us up. Corridors for staff members in the business class can cause claustrophobia, although they are extremely convenient and compact. Okay, hold on. Here's the thing. Uh, if we take a scanner, and we scan it... Blueprint corridor. Let's go back and check that out. Okay, I'm gonna take some damage here because I should I should really bring more oxygen candles. I should make it a habit of just having small oxygen candles with me. In situations like this, because I don't wanna I don't wanna spend um like the oxygen station.
So I'm just gonna take a bit of damage on the way back. Okay, let's build a few oxygen candles. It was batteries and uh, batteries and metals. Okay. Um, I am also low on metals. We need more metals, but well, that's easy. And I'm also low on batteries. Okay, let's start by getting more metal. We need a... It's only one drop bills left on this one, so... Mm -hmm. Must be metal out here somewhere. Come on, surely. That's all titanium. Quickly get some more oxygen. Oh, there's one. There's one. That one's broken. Take a new one. Another one. Okay. Let's see. We also need to make batteries. Resources. Which we need metal and alkali for, so we actually need a lot of metal. Um, alkali is over here. Use that to make the batteries. Gonna need more metal. Hey, just Dave. Okay, so we're gonna need a little bit more metal. Let's go and pick that up. Hmm. There's two of them down here. Smash it to bits. Okay. I want to go down and see what that was down there. Now we should have enough. Then we can also see what that corridor thing was all about. That we found the blueprint for. Ah, come on. First things first, we're gonna build ourselves some oxygen candles. I'm gonna save one battery in case we need to build something with a battery. 
So we're gonna put that back in there and some of all this metal can go in there. Okay, let's see. Um, it's probably on the objects. No. We got a compensator, which I don't know what is. Didn't we just get a blueprint for something? Uh, do the basic resources spawn or is there a finite amount? They do spawn. Um, so it's not like you're gonna run out of them. Yeah, we did get a blueprint for corridor, but if we're looking through what we can build here, it's none of those. It's not that. We want that large accelerator, but I need a second shawarma in order to build that. Tools, drill, handy scrapper, shears, scanner, repair tool, magnetic master key, and a grabber. Alcohol, oxygen candle, first aid kit, oxygen generator, steering wheel, which we only have still have one of fuel, large oxygen candle. Hmm, but what is that compensator? Can we build that? Where did I find that? But is it just a it's a composite res- okay, so it's a thing you need to build other things. Okay. Okay, let's go out and continue to explore now that we have- actually, can we make a first aid kit? Just so we can <laughs> get our health back. Um... Items. We need alcohol and fabric. I think we have some fabric, otherwise we can get it very easily. Okay, we have neither of those. Okay, so alcohol. Order to make alcohol. We need ice and alkali. I can't remember where I get alkali. I just spend all my alkali making batteries. Uh, okay. Fabric, we can get that right there. Where's alkali? Hmm. Just go down and explore this area, and then we're gonna figure that out later. I have enough oxygen candles now that I should be fine. There's some broken, broken escape pods here. Hmm. Can I? Repair it. Nope. Yeah, it might be on as. Oh, was that the uh, the red little red thingies on the asteroids? I think it was. Um, okay, I'll keep an eye out for those. If we come across them, we'll we'll get some. For now, I just want to go and explore the uh, the immediate wrecks around us. I think we've been to this one over here before, but I'm just gonna go and take a second look.
ready to head back soon. Okay, I want to go up and explore that thing there a little more. And then from here, I want to see if we can get into that thing there and explore. Don't get sidetracked now, Astro. Focus on what you're doing, which is surviving. Especially because I am a little low on oxygen. Yeah, plenty of time, no problems. Just gonna head out and check that asteroid just out here and see if there was any alkali on that. That is probably ice. Yeah, that's an ice ice thingy. That's electronics. That's aluminium, yeah. See that one there. Uh, if we take a drill. That might be alkali, yes it is. Grabber? Oh, it, this is a grabber thing. Um, grabber. There we go. Hey, dongle. Okay, so now we got some alkali, we have restocked on that, so that means we can now build the alcohol, we can now get the fabric. Just gonna get some fabric here on our way in. Just gonna go snip, snip, snip. We get fabric. And now we just need, oh, I forgot, I need ice. I need two ice. Um, let's just make two healing kits, so we have a spare one for next time, so four units of ice. That should be easy. That should be ice, like, floating around out here. That's one. That's two. Otherwise there was stuff we want the... there we go. Three. Four. Okay. Otherwise, there would be there was stuff on the on the asteroid we could use from uh, to get the ice if we want to. Okay, so now we can craft alcohol. And then we can craft two first aid kits. Oh, I need more fabric, right? Slip, slip. Okay. And if I open this, there's no room. If I open this, then the alkali can go in here. And I'll also store the first aid kit. Um, and then we're going to use that. We're up to 99% health. Nice. Okay. Um, with that out of the way, let's head back out to our oxygen station here. That one out there. Then we're going to refill and we're going to go in there to try and explore that. Actually, you know what, on the way, I am, oh, we can just make it. See, that's the problem with putting it so far out. I might want to put an auction station up in there because it's a rather large volume to explore. Okay, so oxygen station then back up to that one just to see because I only got a quick flyby in there just to see if there's anything else um, worthy of our attention. 
And I sh I'm also getting a little low on drinks, so we're just probably gonna drink some water. Um. Yes. Oh, where did they go? There was. <laughs> And then we're gonna come back down, then we're gonna head into that one. Probably build an oxygen station up close to that entrance there. Yeah, an oxygen, like anything that gives us more moving speed or more oxygen, basically that anything that increases our range between oxygen refills. Because that is by far the biggest time waster in this in this game is that you constantly have to go back to um to restock oxygen. And and you could just like stockpile um stockpile oxygen candles and then you could just stock like restock when you want it but it's a very resource heavy way of uh, of exploring you're doing it purely by oxygen candles um so it's not ideal okay so last time we went inside this corridor i'm thinking i'm gonna try to just quickly take a look out the on the outside here look around wrapper required Oh, we got resin. Okay. Need to head back soon. Don't see much more here. Okay. Back down, refill. I know we have a blueprint for for faster boost. Um but I need to find the second Shiwama, and they're not too easy to find out here. I only found two of them so far. One we used for the... Oh my god, are we going to make this? Um, I think we're going to be fine. One of them we used for the first little boost thing here, and the second one... Uh, the two, we need two for the next upgrade. And three, two, one, with two units of oxygen remaining. Plenty of time. Okay, let's head up here. I found food amongst the debris. Lots of different green food. It saves your life from hunger. Great. Uh, I, I mostly need the. I need a, a, a second Shiwama. I have. Detected. Theoretically, the cooling gel can be used to reduce the temperature and activity of the core. That is, if you find a blob large enough that doesn't evaporate before we get to the liner. Okay, we got freezing dangers in this area. There's a heat source down there. Let's go down there and put up an oxygen station. Now we can see why there's so much cooling gel near the shuttle. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There's no data about such systems being on the liner unnamed. Okay. Into the heat. Refill oxygen.
loads of food floating around here. Okay. Refilling oxygen. Let's head out. Looks like there's another the heat source. got stuck in this blob of cooling gel. I think we found the perfect specimen to launch into the core. And fabric and wires. Okay. Launch the shuttle into the core. Oh, yeah, there's something just down there. Hold on. Quickly search around, see what that is. I know I'm low on oxygen. I'm gonna burn some candles here. I was hoping to see a standard pleasure shuttle, but this is an old design cargo ship. You can still occasionally find such ships on distant planets. They work on biofuel, and there's no way they were on the liner. Robotics wasn't so popular at the time when such ships were produced. This technology is outdated, so it's highly improbable that this debris belongs to the liner. The engines look intact. External control system. Only old ships have these. I can hack it in a split second. Fuel tank is empty. A fuel tank with no fuel inside. To start the engines, you have to find some fuel, fill the tank, and hack the control system of the ship. Okay, so we need to bring fuel over here, it seems. First, I need to go up and get some heat before I completely freeze over. There we go. And then I need to use another oxygen candle. Once we heat it up, we're gonna head back to that one. Uh, can you move the oxygen tents? Uh, maybe. I don't think I can just take... I mean, I've, I haven't... Last time I tried to move them, they said I didn't have the correct materials for it. So I could just disassemble it. And then they just got destroyed. But I can build more of them, if we need to. Um, but I think I have blueprints for fuel. Okay, we should get out of the cold area here very soon. There it is. There we go, we are out of the cold. It's not an ideal place. I might actually want to put build another oxygen uh, station so we have something a little bit better placed. Because this one down here is kind of stupid. I was looking for it because I wanted to go down there, but... Then there was a big rock in the way. And this one's also getting empty. There's not that much oxygen left in it. Okay, that should be enough to... Oh, no, you're not, we actually need a, probably a full tank here. Because it is just on the brim of me to be, make it back. Okay, so we need a refill for that one. And we're gonna need a second one. I want to put one up, like, at that entrance as, as I originally planned. Um, or at least halfway there, so we have something we can use up there. Uh, and then we need to figure out how to, to manufacture fuel so we can uh, so we can take that with us over there and uh, and then launch the shuttle. 
Alternatively, we go over to this area over here where there's a lot of, like, things to explore. But that's just gonna mean we need a lot of oxygen stations in order to be able to make it there. So we can build a bridge, basically. You can see this is the start area all the way back there. Um, and I built just a lot of oxygen stations that I use to travel between this place and the starting location. So right now, that's basically how we get around at, a, at, at, at any distance. It's just a lot of these, but you can see I have one, two, three, four, like five or six of them. Um, I'm not sure that one is probably a detour, but I think all of these basically all take us back, all these oxygen stations. Um, and that means we need a lot of them in order to get out there. It's it's like it's a long distance to fly. Okay. So resin. So that's that's symbol resin and metal, and we're pretty much good to go. And we just farmed some metal earlier today, so take those over. Use that. Manufacture some fuel. I don't know how much we need, but now we have one. Um, another thing I also want is a fountain water. We are getting low on that. So let's drink some water and let's eat some food. There we go. Do we have another water in here? No, we don't. Do we have water in here? We have one. We can easily make water. We just melt ice and we're good to go. So it's 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 relatively easy. Um, but I just want to get rid of some of all this that we don't need. You know what I should? I should build another handy scrapper because I'm using those a lot. I think it's I think it's three metals for a handy scrapper. Yes. Just so I have a spare one. Okay, so we got the fuel. Let's build a second oxygen station. So we just need we have one oxygen candle, that's fine. So we need aluminium and thick electrical tape. Alum oh, we out of aluminium? I think we are. We have thick electrical tape. Okay, we're gonna go and make that then. Of or mine some aluminium. What about those refills? Oxygen generators. I think the oxygen generators is what we use to refill the oxygen stations. So we need one battery, one refined metal, and one plastic. So we need one battery, battery, refined metal, plastic. Build an oxygen generator. Boom, there we go. All right, let's go and take our grill. And let's just go and mine some, uh, some Aluminium. That was ice. That's also ice. That one there is aluminium. Object station, oxygen station. Okay. And then we just need to stockpile our remaining aluminium. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of large oxygen candles in here. Okay, that's good to know. And I have a spare oxygen generator here as well. 
I'll take that with me so we can have more refills. Didn't need to build it then. It was stupid. They should have looked for that. Okay. Um, we still have an emergency oxygen candle. So let's go and position this new oxygen station in a more convenient location. We're just gonna go basically straight for that opening. So I found some something there. That's the place we're going for right now. Oh, should I have taken two? Hold on. Um, I think I'm actually gonna need two of them if I need to be working out there. I'm gonna take another oxygen station. So I have one for the entrance, and then we have one for the first heat point, and then we're gonna put one up at the second heat point as well. Just so we can move around in there a little bit more freely. Um... We had a spare aluminium. Uh, are we out of thick electrical tape? Huh, we are. Was it just rubber? Yeah, it's just too rubber, so we're just gonna... I have so much rubber that I just throw it on the ground to make room. Uh, let's make some thick electrical tape. Build a second auction station. Now we're ready. Now we are prepared. There we go. Okay. So you just throw your rubber underground? But well, you didn't notice what I had in this in the second little compartment in there? <laughs> I'll show you when we get back. For now, I just want to fly until around 20%. And at around 20%, either at 20% or when we reach the edge of the cold area. I don't want to set it up inside a cold area without having a heat source nearby. Because if we are in the, in the, in the cold area, and, um, and we need to, to ref, we're refill auction, we're very quickly going to have our visor freeze up. I, I know classified, but, but let me show you when we come back. So I think here would be a very good spot to um, to put up that oxygen station. There we go. Beautiful. Refilling. So get over to this one, where we have oxygen and heat. Okay, should be fine for now. Just get in, in the heat here. Let's get heated up. Very nice. Okay, we should have enough to make it just over here. It's just a small hop. Is the chicken named Howard by any chance? I uh, I don't think it has a name, but but now it does. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be our second oxygen station. a very good spot. We both have heat and oxygen. This is a nice calm spot. Okay. So now we're just 160 meters away from that fuel tank, so let's go. Go down and begin working. We haven't seen much to the chicken lately, so we'll see what we can... Can we... Is, is this ghost like... 
No, it doesn't go there. So we can't use it as, an, as a usable item. But can we refuel? Tank is empty. But I have fuel. How do I refuel it? Okay, let's head back. We're freezing up here. Oh, this is freezing up quickly. It's okay. We just need to get to this thing here. And we know there is heat. There we go. Um. Hmm. I am confused then. It says launch the shuttle into the core. And surely this one's not gonna go anywhere. Don't you have a way to open the coffins now? Uh, we do, yeah. I have a magnetic thing. Let's go and check the coffins. There it was. Oh, encrypted tape. What can we use encrypted tape for? Tank is still empty. Mm. Gotta go back for heat. It turns out breathed coffins contains information that is recorded on such tapes. Some information is encrypted, but with some luck, it's possible to calculate coordinates for potential useful debris. Hmm. I don't know what to do out here. The only clue or Something that resembles a clue that I have right now is that there was a few containers over there that I could smash open. Um, but that's not much of a clue. Well, let's refill again. Let's go down and try that just because. Maybe just explore this area here a little bit more. Anything here? No. No, no, this thing is just broken. Okay, let's go. What's in here? Nothing. It was this one I was looking at. Another construction kit and scissors. Oh! Beef pellets required. Huh. So it does, so the fuel tank doesn't need fuel. 
So I'm just running around with fuel for no reason. Great. is coming. Wait, is there anything else we want to explore from here? There's another heat source down there. We are out of oxygen stations, so I don't want to go there. Hmm. Okay. I think we need to try and head in another direction until we find that... Um, All right, let's refill here. We still have 80 left. We're going to leave that for later. We still have the recharges. Try to just go the direct route back here. Oh, there's another heater here. Something is stuck in the cooling gel. Or someone. In any case, it's impossible to break it. Oh, there's a, sh there's a whole ship here. Hold on. Well, that sucks. Is this open? Oh, this open. I wouldn't touch it without having a degree in engineering. If I were you, I wouldn't touch anything, even myself. Oh. Oh no! Wait, there's no oxygen in here, and it's still cold in here. What is this? Stop the engines. Quote Aeron demonstrator. Seems that you still made the engine run, though this has complicated the identification of the deceased. Slightly. Hold on. Let me just heat up here a bit. Okay, so we made the engines run and we burned some of the, the things off. Let's just go back to... Should be one just around the corner here. For some oxygen there. Also a thing down there. And give me a bit of heat. Heating, heating, heating. Okay, it's good. Head back. So we made the engines burn, but it didn't move anywhere. Luckily, I was about to, to think that we were gonna be, uh, be, be flown somewhere we didn't want to go. But this guy... Oh, he was holding something. Uh, it's a cow. I need to go out for heat. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we picked up a few like silly things. We're gonna go and explore those in a bit. I'm just gonna go and, uh, and get heated up here. There we go. While we do that, we're gonna put our second handy scrapper down there. So we just found like magnets and light bulbs and like stuff that we already seen that we know how to get. Um, nothing too like too exciting. Let's fill up again. This station is getting empty too, but we're gonna get as much out of it as possible before we refill it. There we go. One final little heat up here, as it seems to be basically heat that's gonna be our limiting factor for how long we can stay in there. Let's go and break that last box.
Okay. Okay, we can't do anything else, and I don't think we could do anything with this guy. Nope. Actually, you know what, let's just head straight out. Another shuttle down there. Could be an interesting direction to explore as well. On. Oh, we are full. Jesus Christ, Astro. There was another shuttle just inside there. Um, and I don't think I was necessarily fully done exploring that. So we might want to go and check that. We're just going to check the little Christmas thing we found. And the little cow plushie. And then we'll see if there's anything with those. Um, there's a lot of the things that you find that's just like silly little trinkets that seems to have no use. But the problem with this game is you never really know what has use and what doesn't. Um, there's also a shuttle there. I can't remember if it's okay. It's just. Let's just make sure we cleared this area, cleared that shuttle, cleared that shuttle. Before we go out, and I think I want to head out in this direction and then down to another shuttle, so we're probably going to have to build another oxygen station. So we can begin to make it out in that direction towards all those question marks. Um, okay. Let's see... We can install it. Okay, they seem to just be trinkets. What a shame. Okay. Um, we picked up a lot of materials and we didn't really need all those materials. Hmm. Puzzles. Okay. Um, hey, excess. Uh, okay, we have aluminium. We got that covered. Thick electrical tape. We can make that for days. Oxygen candles. We need more batteries, right? And for batteries, we're going to need alkali. So we're going to need to go... Oh, do we still have alkali in here? Uh, not there. We do. And I have no more emergency. Okay, great. So... Let's start by making three batteries. And then we'll make three oxygen candles. And from the three oxygen candles, we're gonna make one in reserve and one or two stations out of. Um, so now we need to make the oxygen candles. So we just need more metal. Okay, we, we don't have enough metal. We need to go and farm some. We have one. So, handy scrubber. Uh, 
There's one. There's a bunch of it here. That should be fine. Before we head inside, I'm just going to see if I can find some ice. Can I get one more ice? Oh, they're the wrong color. Wait. Not right now, it seems. I just wanted to make a bit of a... Uh, make some... Uh, oh, I already had two water bottles. Okay, fair enough. Or we pick some up in the shuttle. Okay, we're good. Do we maybe have one ice in here? Yes. Let's use that one ice to make another water bottle. Okay. So with all that metal, we can now convert these into the three oxygen candles that we wanted. One, two, and three. And that means now we just need two electrical tape and two aluminium. And we should have, there's one electrical tape. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this, look. You guys are making fun because I had rubber lying around everywhere. Oh, we need two, two rubber to make one electrical tape. Okay. Two rubber makes one electrical tape. Bam. And now we should have enough to build two more oxygen stations. Let's, let's make a plan here. So that's the one that we can reach, and that has decent amount. Those two in there is pretty much empty. Those are the ones in the cold area. But we actually... Hold on, there's also one there. Hold on, how many do... No, that's the, okay, that's, that's the one at the entrance to the cold area. Those are the two ones in the cold area. That's the one where I tried to go down to that thing, but figured I couldn't. But I want to go over and explore in this area. No, first, we have to do some other thing. We need to just clear the shuttles in our immediate vicinity just to verify that we have, in fact, cleared them. There's more ice there. Um, but now I just spotted a coffin up there. Let's just go and check that. Aha, we get more of these encrypted things. There is a engineer's body here. Not much we can do about that. Okay, this shuttle is pretty clear. Just going to check this one. Just to see that we got 
There's a piano in here for some reason. And it's on its side and it's difficult to find your way around. Okay. We cleared this one. Heading back for oxygen. And then we're heading back out. We might actually just try to go... Should we just continue down that route there? See if we can go that way maybe? It's more direct to the way, to the way we want to go. So that might actually be a better way to go. Let's see how far we can get um, before radiation becomes a problem. I think I recall radiation being pretty bad in that direction. So I'm just going to refill on oxygen. And then we're going to try to... I think I want to try to head in that direction. See what happens there. Um, but this is just this game in a nutshell. Like, you try to accomplish one thing and you figure out you missed some component and then you try to go another way and... Eventually all the pieces come together. There's lots of wires. There's a big thing there and there's for some reason ice notes there. Okay, so far no radiation. So far we are good. What is this? Light bulb. Oh, batteries. Want that. I probably want the light bulb. Check this out. <laughs> a strange accessory for a man in his 40s, unless he's at a Japanese culture festival. Auto cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. The trash ball mostly consists of electrical tape. Okay, I think... I think this would be a good place. Just go a little further. Because we have been like moving around a bit, so this would be a good place to put up an oxygen station to refill. What is this? Hold on. Such supplies of electrical tape suggest that engineers doubted the durability of the liner. Was that thing moving? That's not, oh, we out of magnetic. Oh, I should have brought another magnetic magnetic key. Doability, it's out. Let's just examine this. Garbage ball. Handy scrubber required. So. Alkali, I want that. Wires, all this stuff we can get easily at home. Cheap paperback sci-fi novel. Now it's clear why robots considered it trash and rolled it up in the electrical tape together with the owner of the book. There's this thing flying around here. Where's my grabber? Because I spotted some more alkali down here. Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. I need to come back here with another magnetic master key. Okay, we've got a shuttle here. Bunch of metal. Unfortunately, this awesome remedy does not cure breaches or depressurization. 
Let's continue this down this route here. I need to put up an oxygen station soon. Oh god. Okay, hold on, let me just put down an oxygen... Oh, there's something there. I need to put down an oxygen station here. Hmm. Are we getting somewhere? That over there looks interesting. Just gonna go and take a close look at this guy. He is cut in half. What is that? It's a mock. Hurrah! A dangerous predator. Although in this case, the predator just stuck to the floating remains. Wait, we are out of oxygen station, so we we, we can't go too far this way right now. Uh, we can't make it all the way there. For that, we're gonna need a second oxygen station or a third. But there's a shuttle there. Maybe we can make it down to that. And there's also some sh debris there. This is working autonomous oxygen station. Hold on. Is this an oxygen station? We have enough oxygen. We need to turn around like the 50% mark. We need to flip. Interesting design. The wiring schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the plunger ships. You can connect an oxygen station here if I've understood the blueprint correctly. Uh, repair tool required. Hold on. Aha! So there's an oxygen, working oxygen station in here with infinite oxygen in it. That. And there's water. Oxygen candles. Oh, and there's a steering wheel out there. We found a second steering wheel. Let's just refill here. Oh, this is nice. Uh, scanner. Good, we got another steering wheel scanned. Now we have two of them. And this oxygen station here is a lifesaver. Because that might actually mean we can go a little further. Okay. Let's go. That should just be within reach. Apparently, there was a survivor here, temporarily. There's also something there. So those two here is just outside of reach from that auction there. I can make it around 500 meters. Um... And there's another cuff in there. Okay. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to go back. If we go back and build two more oxygen stations, because now we know there's something there, and there's this, whatever that is. Um, so we're gonna put an oxygen station in that area so we can explore that, and an oxygen station in that area so we can explore that. Um, wow, we need more space in our inventory. And then we need another... Oh, we have another magnetic master key. I did bring a second one. Stupid Astro. Okay, we're just gonna get the uh, the coffins on the way back. Where was this coffin out here? There it is. Let's just grab the coffins that we missed on the way out. Empty. Okay. It's fair. No, but the problem is, I, I have around, f um, so both, one of the stations were like 300 meters, the other was 500 meters. I have around, around about um, 500 meters of range, and then I'm out of oxygen. So that means if, if something is 250 meters away, I can just make it there, take a look, and go back just in time before I run out of oxygen. So when it's 300 meters away, I'm not going to be able to go 
Um, not gonna be able to go there and explore and then actually get back in one piece without burning some of these oxygen candles that we picked up. Um, so that you could say that that might be a feasible way to go instead of, of building the stations. Um, also boxes there. Hold on, were there more coffins here? Coffins, coffins. There's one. I'm just gonna go back and get more uh, get more stations because we need to head in this direction somehow. More encrypted tapes. And now we need to focus on getting up to that one there. What is this thing? Oh, I could interact with it. What did it say? I can't read it. Damn it, I need to go for oxygen. More resin in here, that's good to know. And I think we did open this one, right? Open coffin, yes. Okay, so we got all the coffins now. And I don't know what we're gonna use all these encrypted tapes for, but... We can only drop them. Uh, yes, CM. I'm only on YouTube. Hmm, okay. So now we're back home, safe. I'm just gonna drop these random things that we picked up. That I'm not really sure actually has any use. Then I'm going to... Are we low on metal again? We're always low on metal, it seems. Oh, we found one battery. That's good. Okay, let's just make a bunch of batteries. So I decided only to stream on YouTube because uh, Twitch is going to enforce that no multi-streaming thing. So basically, yeah. Goodbye, Twitch. If they're gonna be like that, I'm just not gonna stream on Twitch. Um, if you want more details, I, I did explain it in uh, in Hello Day from yesterday, so there's a lot more information there. Um, I'm gonna store all these two and our alkali. Um, I think we're okay. Um, what did I want? I basically just wanted... I just wanted oxygen stations. So, more thick electrical tape. <laughs> and more aluminium. Are we out of aluminium already? We have one left. Okay, let's go and... Um, Go and find some more aluminium. Now, so the whole Twitch thing, basically, um, Twitch is going to hear from the beginning of next month, they're going to enforce a new rule. That means if you're streaming on Twitch, regardless of whether you're a partner or not a partner or affiliate or what status you have, if you want to stream on Twitch, 
it must be a Twitch exclusive stream. You're not allowed to stream to any other platform at the same time. And that means that I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch anymore. Because if they feel that they can have that control over where I stream, even though I'm not even affiliated with them, and then they're not actually getting any money from them, meh. There's nothing there. There were all those notes were already taken. So maybe we have to go out to that rock there. Just gonna go and refill oxygen. There's some stuff that I will need that I have missed. I'm sure there is. Oh, there's a note there. And it looks... No, that's ice as well. That one there, that's not ice. One drill down. Get out the next one. hate to see you losing a platform, especially one that had so good elite opportunities, but I totally respect your decision to leave. Um, I'll watch you wherever you are, dude. Thanks a lot. Um, and you know, I would absolutely prefer to be able to continue to dual stream on both platforms um, at the same time. But if, if Twitch is going through with those terms of service, I, I, I don't have an option. They are basically saying, if you want to stream on Twitch, you have to be there exclusively so that means i have to choose youtube or twitch and making that decision is easy because youtube is the main platform that i'm on and that's where i'm going to stay oh. so yeah it's a bit unfortunate but just not really a lot i can do Oh, we need to make more auction candles. Uh, oh, we forgot to farm more metal, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot. I forgot to farm more metal. Two. I just spotted more aluminium down here. running out of two abilities on my drill. Okay, we're gonna need to make another drill. Drill, we need a refined metal. <sighs> I 
And I would probably want to make another handy scrapper while we're at it. And then we make oxygen candles. And then we need to just dump those we have no use for. We just don't know what they are for. Um, the spare aluminium can go in here. Uh, the large... Oh. And then one iron. I think I'm going to store the large oxygen candles. And they give 200 oxygen and I only have 100 right now, so they're a little overkill. Um, we got another of those, so that's good. Plenty of oxygen candles. Come on. I still have the two oxygen refills. I want to keep those around. Um, Alright, need the aluminium and we need the electrical tape. Didn't I build the electrical tape? Did I use it for something? Hmm. Must have used it. Not to worry. Okay. With this, we should and you know what, I'm going to store the fuel because we don't know what to use it for. So for now it's just going to go in there. And then I'm just going to drink some water, eat some food. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to go back out and explore. Take the fuel with me. Okay. Hold on, what were these big rolls actually? Then I looked, was that, was that electrical tape? They said something that it brought huge amount of electrical tape because instead of us using all the rubber all the time, it would be easier if we just farm electrical tape out here. Oh, this, oh, this ball here is electrical tape. I don't think we can farm that. Just gonna check that we did open this one. Open coffin, we did. Some more evidence of the fire in the modules. Apparently, the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. Another wobbly toy.
Okay, let's go down to that one first. That was closest. Then we go up to this area there afterwards. During the explosion of the bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order a coffin, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to know, you're in great shape, keep it up, you're almost not so fat. <laughs> you're almost not so fat. <laughs> well, thank you, I guess. So there's like a long strain of something, and there's a guy with a head stuck in an asteroid, it looks like. Let's just take out the ship first. Lots of metal debris. Electronics. No steering wheel in there, that's that's a shame. What is that? Something was being assembled here. Okay, I wanna explore this a little bit further, but first oxygen station. So we can explore this without worrying too much about dying. So, so they were assembling something here, but what? Let's see. They have water. That's a first aid kit. That's that's useful. Um. A fire extinguisher. Is that like a new engine type thing? try this oh look at that that's probably the oh that is another like it's probably like a boost thing so we can move faster I'll bet a miracle of engineering this vacuum cleaner flew fast but not for too long oh oh Oh, now we're talking. Unfortunately, the skillful engineer turned out to be a less skillful driver. Hope these antennas the are speed! Can work without them. Judging by the number of antennas, this is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. How do I... Looks like someone tried to get inside the module using the shuttle as a battering ram. By the way, did you know that originally the heads of some battering rams were carved in the shape of a ram? That's an interesting fact. Oh my god. That's gonna extend our range so much. Hold on, I'm just gonna take it back down. Can we refill oxygen while sitting on it? Oh, we can. And that's what we need the fuel for. Back 
vacuum cleaner blueprint. A vacuum cleaner motorcycle blueprint. Stained with blood, but some of the design ideas are distinguishable and worth attention. We can now explore so much further than we've been able to before. The chance of injuring yourself with the electrical tape is 46%, which makes the dispenser the safest tool for useless construction and wasting your time. Remember not to put the loose end of the electrical tape down your throat. The pilot entered the module. Well, partly. At any rate, his brains are scattered all over the corridor, and they most likely got into the vent and activated the airlock pressurization protocol. You need to find another airlock to get inside. <laughs> okay. Lots of water, oxygen candles, a generator. I'm not sure what we're gonna need that for. A uh, plate. There's probably another of these. There's another magnet. They had a thing here. And doctor dispenser. Inventory is full. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> really? <laughs> That's a stupid. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we're out of inventory space. Like, we are full. I can drink a bottle of water, maybe. And we have all the oxygen right now. That should give me. make room for that. No, no, fuel is still at 16. I'm just going to explore around until I find another area that's interesting. Here's another shuttle. Okay, we have honey here for... And a honey barrel and more of these. Oxygen not included. Let's just, you know, we have so many of these candles now. Just gonna use one. Extra inventory space. Yeah, it's one extra inventory space. Oh, this game just opened up so much more. Like, the ease of exploration is just... Interesting design. I'm not sure about its initial purpose, but we can secure the plating with it. A uh, scanner. We need a scanner. 
We have one scanner here with one durability. Protective cover. I feel like we are collecting stuff for... Are we are collecting stuff for like building a station or something? Well, we're just gonna go back this way instead of going through the tunnels this time. I mean, before we could, we are more than three times as fast as we were before. That means our range is now like a kilometer and a half. We need to be careful with the scooter though. We don't want to destroy. Mark it. Looks like some storage for beef fuel pellets. They don't make these nowadays. Oh! Fuel pellets. Nice. We've been looking for these. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. New blueprint. Explosives. Oh. Please be careful with artificial beef. This product explodes more often than it's eaten by normal people. Synthetic manure. This type of fuel can't be synthesized without a living synthetic cow. Not even with electrical tape. Okay, let's just collect some of it. I don't know how much we're, go much we're gonna need. But... It's here. Okay, now we're talking. Now things... Are shaping up. A container for transporting beef. Its casing is loaded, which indicates possible damage to its contents due to bad transport conditions. I don't recommend approaching such containers because of their possible explosion. Hmm. Well, to see if I could interact with it somehow. Don't ram them. Probably a bad idea, yeah? We have this one down here that's kind of useless now, so we might just go down and, and empty it. Because with this one, we have so much range. Can we repair it? You see how it deflates as we are extracting oxygen from it. So let's see, we have just over 500 meters back. <laughs> this would usually be a, a full, full tank of oxygen to go back here. Now, it's just we might actually even be able to get out to like two kilometers, maybe, of range. Maybe not quite, but close. Okay, um, let's just see what we have because, yeah, range is about two kilometers, yeah. Because we got a lot of new stuff we can craft. So, tools, we now have a beef generator, a handmade. Explosive device made from a can of synthetic beef. A battery and a simple clockwork mechanism. So we can make things that goes boom. And a dispenser. When you're short on resources, 
When the risk of death is serious, from serious injury, thirst, hunger, and fatigue is high, constructing a three-story mansion will be the best option for you, as evidenced by many similar cases of survival. A dispenser is a perfect tool for this task. Okay, we also learned to make these beef pellets. So we're gonna construct one of those because we know where to we know we need that. And we know where we need it. And now we also have inductors and generators in here because we found blueprints for that. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? Let's drop off some of all this stuff. I'm not sure about the fire extinguisher, but let's keep it in our inventory for now. Over here, I want to get rid of the generator. I'm going to keep this in case we're going to go really far. Um, let's just... Drop that. Photo of the liner. Drop that. Can that can goes in there. That goes in there. First aid kit. Let's put our synthetic meat in there. Okay, this should be fine. Also put that oxygen candle in there. Okay. Now I think we're gonna try to but we still have those pellets, right? Yes. Now we can go and try to refuel that thing from before. So we should have, we should easily be able to make it there. Oh, this is, this is awesome. So much more speed. Again, I know we're getting low on fuel, but I just want to wait until we're at like five or something. Um, no, I assume it's just a normal fuel. But for now, we, we started with 17. And we've been moving around quite a bit. Okay, we're just gonna stop here for a little heat break. Look at that, we just made it here in like no time at all. Alright, let's park it. Oh, we need 10. Okay. Uh-oh. I need to remember that oxygen is still a thing. That's empty. Charge it up. With one of our oxygen generators. And refill completely. Okay. Um, okay, let's go and make more of these beef pellets. That should be our main goal right now. And when we come back, we're just going to verify that we can actually... That the fuel is what's needed for refilling this. Okay. 
So if you fill it... Okay, so that gave us like 30 fuel. Or 30 units of fuel. Okay, okay, so... Uh, oh, this is getting exciting now. So we just need a lot of those, that synthetic manure. We have explosives we can build too. We also have some new tools that I haven't even like, what is that? What do we use that for? We probably want to bring one. Um, but for now, let's just see how much do we have of that. We didn't bring enough, did we? No, I have three of them. I'm gonna need a lot of that. Always out of metal. Why am I always out of metal? Ah, okay. Let's just take this and find some metal. There's some. Start by all the little free, free floating chunks. And then smash this. Those are wires, light bulbs. Oh, well, there's a battery. I'll take that. Um, okay, let's get back. Uh oh, actually, let's get back. Kind of hurry. Okay. What was it I was doing? I was building fuel. Insufficient resources. Oh, we need two resin. Oh, my bad. Items. Fuel. And then store that metal so we have at least some for later. I should actually... You know what? I'm just going to use it all now and then build another handy scrapper because... Oh, I have, two. I have a spare handy scrapper. No, right. Let's put that in storage again. Okay. And also put the battery in here. Okay. Well, let's refuel this thing and then let's get back out to that place where we know we found these pellets before. Let's go. Let's see if I can remember where it was. I think it was down there. Just go and check this thing out. Yeah, yeah, you can see it is there. Okay. Let's go and check this out and that out while we are on our way. We have so much range now, it's so much easier to go and explore. Place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Oh, shuttle. 
Enhanced flashlight. Okay, I'll take it. A small airlock that lets the liner's workers go into outer space. So we are definitely collecting... Hold on. Aha! Okay, let's make it down to that area where the uh, all the poo is. Oh, it's not that. Hold on. Oh, don't get lost now, Astro. Uh, do we have any oxygen nearby? I'm just gonna go to that one and refill. Actually, there should be one right there. No. That's what I knew I had one in this area. Empty that. Refill it. And refill our oxygen here. Wasn't it in this direction? And I thought it was that one, but that doesn't look right. No, this does not look right. Let's go and check this thing out here. To the right, if it is not that, uh, we'll 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 look at that later. Let's just go and check this one out here. We have an oxygen station with us, so we have the option to to put up more oxygen. Well, there's a shuttle here. There's an engineering shuttle ahead. I wonder how you find everything so quickly. Is it because of my hints? See if there's any oxygen in here. That's a familiar way of repairing things. Did you study the same manual as well? We had another thing under pants. Neutralize. <laughs> Sacrificing Howard. Okay, but there is a it's steering wheel. That it will fly with a broken engine, but the design of the steering wheel is quite interesting. His mistake was that he didn't know the principles of electrical conductivity. However, it's a good idea to pour some melted metal on the handy scrapper. So hold on, we just got an enhanced handy scrapper, which is, I guess, better than the normal. So we have a handy scrapper and an enhanced handy scrapper, which is just refined metal and titanium. That's 
that's easy too. And then it has 99 durability instead of 50, so basically double the durability. Okay, I think it just does the same, but it just takes up less inventory space. That's nice. Can we not take this? I would really like to have that. Hmm. But hey, we found oxygen. You know what? What I'm gonna do while we're here? Just gonna go and... Because fabric is sometimes difficult to find. Oh, there's something just over here. Is this hot in here? Lasers. Stop. Judging by the signal, there's an anti-asteroid turret nearby. I hope you don't look much like an asteroid, but it's recommended that you stay away from the guns. These turrets can attack a large moving object without even knowing how valuable the spacesuit on this object is. The service post. About two meters of high strength alloy and no breaches in the security system. The object is classified, but I managed to download some information from the captain's bridge. You can remotely access the liner's core from here. This would be extremely useful. However, it is impossible to get inside unless you have an anti-armor weapon. Oh god, I'm already lost. Where did the shuttle go that we were just in? Uh... Okay. We need we need a bit of, of time here. I know it's probably stupid because there's a shuttle very close by, but I need oxygen. Probably a good idea just to go in and uh, and save before we head into explosives. So I guess do not hit the green lines. Turret detected. And he is working autonomous oxygen station. This is Knight Errant, the main weapon of liner unnamed. It was meant to be used only in cases of emergency when the liner was attacked from the outside. Who would attack it, and what makes Knight Errant different from other turrets? The journalists didn't get a clear answer. It looks like Knight Errant's manual control panel. It's used in case of remote control system failure. Getting here from inside the liner was impossible, therefore it wasn't fortified much. Okay. Now we have plenty of oxygen in this area. What do we have here? There are no data about the discharge cells or any modern particle beam weapon in general. But according to the blueprint, it's somewhere inside the gun's barrel. I don't think you should poke your nose in there. If the gun doesn't work, it doesn't mean you can poke your head right into its barrel. Although such a classified device causes an uncon- Apparently, these are the discharge cells. It's unlikely that you'll be able to fix them, but I'm sure that there are some spare ones somewhere. Although, I recommend that you think about why you would want to repair Empty this gun in the first place. Cells. Okay, so there are six of these empty charge cells in here. Whatever they are. And there's a big honking space gun. There's the, there's the shuttle. Yes. 
<laughs> that's the shuttle. That's my oxygen station. Okay, but it never changes. It didn't change the fact that I still got lost on my way out here. So that's the shuttle. Right, let's uh, let's go back in uh, back to the main shuttle, and then basically trace our steps through the tunnel, um, because that's how we found it last time. And I also need to build more uh, more oxygen candles for emergencies. Why do I have metal lying all over the floor? That seems counter counterproductive. Okay, let's build some oxygen candles. Uh, is it is it items? Yeah. So we just basically need batteries. Uh, always low on batteries. But we can build two more, I think. Resources, yeah. Let's build two batteries. Actually, let's build one battery. And then, because then we're out of metal again. We just gotta go and farm some metal when we... When we spot it. Good. Now we have two oxygen candles. So, we found some other stuff. I'm not sure what it is. Gotta put that in there. Put that in there. Put the fabric in there. Okay. Okay, let's trace our steps back. Farm some metal. And there's another one over here. Okay. Uh, where did my where did my scooter go? That's my scooter. Let's 
just gonna try to see if we can actually dismantle this, because we don't need this one anymore. Um, just as an experiment here. No, see, that destroys it, I think. Um, yeah, there we go, we need this one. Okay. Okay, so it does get, like, destroyed, don't get it back. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we can repair it. Oh, we can just repair it like this. This is easy. Nice. Okay. The next thing we need is just to get more oxygen capacity. We're going to skip that one. We're going to go straight for the shuttle over here. Which we should have. Enough oxygen to reach, no problems. Yeah, that's fine, there's a oxygen generator in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to retrace my steps. So we were flying up here. What is this? The service airlock. To be more precise, this was the service airlock. Unfortunately, now it's gone. But if you scan how its system works and get the necessary tools, we could try to repair it to depressurize the doors. Dispenser required. Okay, so we need a dispenser in order to repair that thing. Okay, we'll come back with that later. But again, we're just going to retrace our steps. So we went down this tunnel here. Nope. We're just going to go back here. And we're just going to refill on oxygen. Which I believe there was oxygen in here. I really hope there was oxygen in here. That was. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we got the dispenser blueprint in here. I should have... Should have guessed that. All right. Now we went down this corridor. And then we were exploring here, and then we went up here. Oh, was that the... was that it? to be active. Yeah, I think I was then thought oh, I'll I'll fly back here. Hmm. 
So close. Not gonna quite make it, but I'm gonna save the auction candle. Hmm. I didn't find it, but I'm wondering. If that icon there, because that kind of has like a explosive icons on it, let's go and and check see what we get in here. That is quite far away, though. We don't really need this one anymore, so let's get rid of that. Actually, get some useful materials out of it. Oh, hmm. It's annoying that I can't find that ship again. got construction kits okay we found some of those already um, but basically then we needed that dispenser so we need an inductor okay one battery one in okay let's start by building one battery one thing at a time here please tell me I have a battery I have alkali okay so one battery When you go, when you leave here, head out the same way, but head to the left of the big ball of tape. Okay, I'll try that. Um, I just want to build that tool first. Okay, so we need two refined metals. We can just pick that up. So we need that inductor. Inductor. So we need one plastic and two refined metals. One plastic and two find metal. Equipment, tools, no objects, resources, inductor. And now dispenser.
Good. And then store. Not enough space. Ugh. This is a mess. Oh, hold on. I think I actually found electrical tape now. Didn't I? Or did I just imagine that I found electrical tape? Did I just use the electrical tape for that dispenser? And many other questions that I keep asking myself. I like to have an oxygen station with me. It's it's a nice backup. Okay. Okay, so when you leave here, go the same way, but head left of the big ball of tape. Left of the big ball of tape. There's nothing here. I'll find it eventually. Yeah, and the big space gun is, is where all the heat stuff is. Oxygen refill, and then dispenser. Oh, it has a laser. Select module, reconstruct. Okay. Corridor tube. Oh, God. Airlock. So I need to create... Hold on. Let's get back in. I need to create an airlock. Power generator airlock. I need one aluminium and two titanium. Hold on.
Okay. One aluminium and two titanium. It's all metal around here. Which isn't bad because I kind of need always need that always low on metal. Ugh. Oh, okay, can we just? I'm just gonna refill and then we're gonna begin to fly backwards until we find this. Uh, there was some uh, metal notes back in the cave, so I might just go there and um, see if I can't find it. We backpedal a little bit. Keep an eye on the side of the walls here, so we have something there. Uh, is that? Uh, no, that's that's aluminium. That's good. There's two coffins here. Just go and check if we got both of the coffins. There's one up here. That's opened. Well, there's one down here. That's empty. Okay, well. Worth a try. That's resin. And that's more. Oh, well, that's not it either. It's more metal. We're <laughs> gonna end up flying all the way back. That should be plenty. Refill oxygen. And then we fly back again. Hold on, why there's a now there's a cowboy hat there. Gonna go refill oxygen there, but then we're gonna go and basically scrap. Let me just 
Give me. And scrap this oxygen station because we don't need it anymore. As we, if we're going in this direction, we can just fly directly to that ship over there. Because of our increased range. So it's just there. We don't need this one anymore. So you're gonna serve your purpose and give me oxygen. And then you're gonna get dismantled into useful materials. Boop. Very nice. Okay, now, surely now we can build that airlock. This base is just turning into what, like, base, this game's turning into like a base building thing now. I just want bigger oxygen supply. <laughs> if I can get up to 200 oxygen, I will be very happy. Because that's going to extend our range out to, what, 4 kilometers? Okay, select airlock. Confirm. Small airlock required. Corridor airlock, small airlock. Almost perfect. However, your biometric data shows a bit of acute frustration with the visual implementation of the construction system that doesn't match the given developer's promises and screenshots. The Breath Edge Agency is trying to take care of its customers' mental health, therefore I have to start stimulating your brain to create visual hallucinations. What? Your construction system looks more attractive now, but there may be some side effects that are not worth paying attention to. <laughs> Alright, this... Not sure if there's oxygen in here, so it's gonna go and do a refill before we head in there. Do I have an oxygen candle? No, should I have brought an oxygen candle? Yes. That would have been prudent. Okay. Ah, come on. Still no oxygen. You need to find the central interphone. Okay. If there's anything left undamaged there and you don't try fixing it, then we have a chance. Now we have oxygen in here. Okay, so that's good. Let's just explore around, see what we have here. It's still 0G. But at least we have oxygen. There's something there. Something there, something there. Let's get this panel, maybe. Oh. Oh, we could just go through the door. Okay. Oh, now we have, uh, now we have gravity too. This is getting better and better. Snip, snip. Health pack. Oxygen candles. Nice. Okay, time for me to get lost in here. Try to unclog the ventilation. Try to unclog the ventilation. Unclog. Need a grabber. I have a grabber. I 
was correct. The brain's clogged the ventilation. Now the security system should. <laughs> His brains are stuck in the vent. It's full of. It's a half a brain that's full of glass shards. Shut down, which will allow you to unlock the door manually from inside. Hold on. Oh, so this was where there was a guy before. Yeah, 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 okay, so there was a guy stuck here before, now he is gone, as we unclocked him and put his brains out of the ventilation. Because his brain is now sitting in my backpack. Okay. A detailed plan of the service module. If you find the missing information, you can create such a module yourself. Who knows for what purpose? Medium service module. So we're basically beginning to unlock base building stuff now. <laughs> All those horrific deaths. Everybody's just, oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna have, wow, there's a lot in here. I'm not gonna have room for that. I should not have brought that. Uh, let me just like, drink some water, I guess. Fill up on that. Uh, drop his brain, don't need that. Um, food, I would rather have... Rather have the oxygen candles, really. And then the brain, the, the brain can be there. Now we have a lot of oxygen candles, so we can... And these are the big ones. Oh! Seems like during the crash, they smashed their heads against the console, which now appears to be non-functional. It's a shame that airbags are not provided in spaceships. Unlike modern radios scattered throughout the area, this one uses outdated technology that even you can reproduce. Probably. The observation post was broken before the crash. All the records are missing. Looks like a diversion. Oh, what do we have here? The interphone is out of order, which is to be expected from a commonplace indie video game where the main gameplay is based on... Oh, wait, it actually is in order. However, the communications <laughs> are down and the antenna needs to be fixed. Again. Fix the antenna. Okay. You need a special pass, which is issued only to employees of the liner. Engineer card required. Did that just completely destroy my, my... Or did I only have one durability left? Let's try again. Unless... Alright, let's just... Before we... <laughs> Beer can... I'm just gonna check that there's no cards, like, lying around that's in any obvious locations that I should have picked up. Plastics in here. Physics in fifteen well in fifty volumes. Okay, let's just let's just beat the door in. We're almost done with it anyway. Achievement unlocked. Destruction. Nice.
The antenna miraculously remained intact. You may start debugging, but where's the antenna? I wanted to use the audio file from the first chapter to reduce the cost of development. Looks like it wasn't the antenna that caused the problem. I don't think it'll help. <laughs> okay, what are, what are we building here? Uh, floor, ceilings, compartments, modules. It seems like we don't have the required blueprint for that yet. It's too stupid, even for green universe radicals. The green universe was here. Access code. Bluebill. Bypass the defenses. It's... Okay. Looks like we found the one responsible for the missing records from the observation post. Although the corpse is here, the records are missing, which is not quite logical. Um. But I need to. Broken wire. I don't really feel like I have... I don't feel like I have the wire thing. It because... Hold on, let's just try to build this. Confirm. Because before it would tell me if I, if I was building the wrong thing, what I needed to build. A power generator. Oxygen generator. Protective covers, a research table. I'm definitely missing something here. I could use a hint right now because are we just gonna go out and find the blueprint for this there's nothing here that I can touch broken wire zero percent hold on it's not this simple is it no I don't think it'll help. So we can neutralize the wire of... of we can just I don't use think it'll help. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like we need something. Can you place wires there? But... Do I have wires? I have wires. to deal with the broken wires, not with your own self. I don't think it'll help. You need a repair tool. Okay, so at least it tells me... I don't think it'll help. Oh, I can use the repair tool. And then neutralize it with the chicken. Try again. I don't think it'll help. Neutralize it with the chicken. I don't think it'll help. The broken wires problem is solved. Try to catch a signal from Normandy. Okay, so now we can go and try this thing. Ah, okay. 
Build a service modules. Decrypt the record. Oh, so we can take our. It's amazing that they are alive. Even with a serious decrease in the core's activity, it still must be extremely uncomfortable there. So that's how it actually works. How interesting. So we can take our tapes here and we can get them decrypted. For whatever reason. Have you ever heard of cannibalism among astronauts? Even if you take into account your excessive consumption of water and food, resorting to this would not be easy. But hold on, can I build like anywhere I want? Could I just say build What was it again? Build a service module. So I could just go like build airlock modules small medium service module. I needed two construction kit and one electronics to create that. That is the thing I can do. Um We need to head back because I think I need to go and uh, we can probably build it back. We should, I wish they had a, hmm. Okay, let's just go back and get that and try to build that surface station or, or station back at home. Now we should have access to go out through this airlock here into the zero G section and then straight out here. Um, and home shuttle is up there. I wonder if there's a quicker route back than the one. This kind of looks like closed off. Maybe not. Hold on. Let's go and explore a bit. Is it open up here? Is there a faster way out of this cave? No, that looks closed off. Okay, so we need to take the, uh, the usual route here. Probably gonna do an uh, oxygen stop here. Bit annoying we can't make this in one go, that would be nice. Would like to move into that thing and make that my new base, basically. We already scanned that steering wheel. Now we should be able to make it back with uh, with our oxygen reserves. Okay. Can we build the service module inside the shuttle? Can we build it anywhere? Or does it have to be a place with gravity? Or can we just build one free-floating in space? So many questions. So we actually 40% oxygen left. We should be able to make it in one go. Um, so basically, could I just go build? So I have two construction kits and some electronics. Okay, first of all, let's just clean up a little bit here. All the more, like, advanced materials. Um, I want over in this one. Like, light bulbs, electronics, and whatever that is. But then all these basic materials. Plastic, no room for that. I want that over here. I don't have room for either. Alright, I'm actually out of room. Like, proper out of room. 
Um, but that's okay. I have one construction kit here. I need that. And I have one electronics. I need that. So now we can put some more stuff in there. And I think I have another construction kit in here. Yes. Nice. That really that frees up some space here for more advanced things. Jesus. Okay, I need to begin to spend some of these oxygen candles. I have way too many of them. I'll just dump them somewhere. Can we make a pile of oxygen candles here? That will be our new oxygen candle storage. And one for emergencies. Okay, um, let's try this again. So if you take this and we go build... Look at that. Ooh, we could build a surface... Surface button. Construct. Not enough space. Okay, so we probably need to go to that other place where there is more space than inside our little tiny shuttle here. Um... <laughs> that oxygen station, I kind of regret building that now, but also I kind of want to have it with me <laughs> in case we find that shuttle again with the uh, with all the poop in it. Um... Okay, let's make a little bit more room. Let's eat and drink. Take that out. Put that back. We're gonna have to make more room at some point. Okay, so we have everything now, right? We have electronics. We have two construction kits. So I guess we can try to go back. And if my assumptions are correct, we should... We should be able to make it in one go. Um... We don't think we don't. Ha I don't think we have to stop at the uh, intermediate shuttle there because we had forty percent left when we uh, when we got there. So we should be able to just go straight to um, straight to the other one uh, to the main part of the ship. Especially now that we have access, we don't need to go through the uh, the little side airlock that we built. We can just use the crash shuttle as an entrance. Yeah, you can see we're at 50% and we need to go just over there. So we're fine. Hold on, there's constantly new icons popping up. I have a feeling that some of the more like of that manure, I can get that up there. Um... Because it has this explosive icon and it was all stuff that was used for explosives. I'm gonna pack here, look at that. 24, 20% left. No problem. And we are in oxygenated areas. So let's back into the big room. Big room is in here. Okay. Here we should have enough space to build. Not enough space. Are we, are we building this out in, in, like, open space? Oh, I can see the... Oh, okay, it's... A service modules with eight replaceable blocks of wall. Okay, so this is like a room. It's just not... Okay. Hold on. It is trying to put it into your inventory. No, 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 no. I just, I could just see the, uh, the, I could see the structure. It, it is a basic, it's a, it's a, like, an entire room. I thought it was a little, you know, um. In that case. I want to move it. I don't want to build it in here. This is a, a, a crappy place for a, 
for a base. If this is going to be a base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the to the main shuttle, stock up on oxygen, and then I'm going to head out towards the area with the gun and all that other stuff out there. Because if I can hit like 1500 meters or something out in that direction, preferably close to where I have a um, an oxygen station in case of in case this doesn't work the way I want it to. I mean, we do have a we do have an oxygen candle with us, so we have that as a backup. Um, but I think I'm just gonna try to go like go out there in that direction and basically try to build a base out there because I think this is the beginning of base building where we're gonna build a remote base somewhere. Um, that means that we are probably gonna be able to move out of this shuttle. So I want this because there's no reason to to keep having to fly all the way back here. So let's go in, let's fill up. I think I will have to be outside, yeah, in order to, uh, to build it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on this thing. And we're gonna head out in this direction here. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go down where I built that That auction station down there. If I can make it in one go, maybe not all the way. I'm gonna go until I'm at 25% oxygen, and then I'm gonna try to build it. Because there's a lot of, like, the gun is there, there's this thing, there's this thing, and. <laughs> We have that thing over there. There's something there. I think actually this would be a decent place to build it. And there was also some other stuff in other directions where we need to go. Can I make it down to that one for re for just for getting oxygen? That was the one I couldn't find before. So actually maybe this is a bad place to build it even because I have that shuttle there that has oxygen in it. And I think I can make that... Yeah, 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 I can... I'm down to 20%. I can make this in one go. Just... Wait, it is tight. Alright, I can barely make this in one go. If only there was storage here, this could be a new base. Because we have a we have gravity, we have oxygen, and we have a crafting station, but there's no storage here. Okay, it was a little tight on um, on actually getting here, so I'm just gonna move backwards a little bit. The main weapon of the liner, Knight Errant, could have made such holes. If it's still functioning, I really hope that Knight Errant will not react to an object as small as your body. Okay, let's say this is a good place. Let's try this. So if I go build that, yeah, 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 look at this. And then confirm. Build an airlock. Small, okay, so now we need, okay, fair enough. I could leave, suitca leave suitcases in there for storage, yeah, that would be, um, see, there's also oxygen there. I'm just gonna go and take some for my balloon here.
So I think main main focus right now is to just see how much building is required in order for this to be a room with oxygen in it. So we can basically begin to build those instead of oxygen balloons. Just build these small bases along as a string we can go from base to base. Because I should be able to make it out to that one in one go. We're going to use this as an intermediate stop in the meantime. Just so we have some oxygen to work with when we are there. Um, but we're just going to go back. And then we're going to just look at the blueprints. So we have enough for like an airlock, a generator, um, an oxygen generator maybe. Like different, like try to build a different number of things just to see if we can... Uh, If we can get a running base, that would actually be pretty cool. Okay, refill. Should be plenty, no need to use more than... ...than we absolutely need. This game is just amazing at constantly sidetracking you because you're building something you're trying we're like doing the we start out with the whole like beef pills things and trying to get the rocket to work and then we just get sidetracked and sidetracked and sidetracked and oh we also need to go back with the uh, with the encryption tapes um but before we get sidetracked again let's start by trying to build out that base and then we're gonna go and figure that other thing out afterwards okay so if i just go and say build we need... we have that now. Okay, so now we can build corridors and tubes, which I guess is just vertical corridors. That's probably for extending the base. So this is probably like just a medium surface mod. That makes sense. So... Compart... Which is like... Okay, so this is... yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So we have a power generator. We probably want that. Plus 50 power, minus 6 oxygen. Breach chance, plus 4%. And we have a research table, we probably want that. Protective cover, which gives us minus 15% to breach chance. External reinforcement modules of corridors, tubes, and airlocks significantly reduces the chance of the station being breached. It's unclear how casting... Okay. Corridor, airlock, small airlock. That's probably what we want to build. And we also have an interphone. Which I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to build that right away. But I want to build a small airlock... I want to build protective covers, which we can put on... Oh, well, we can also put it on modules. Okay, so we're gonna get some lead. Okay, so how much lead do we have? Two lead. So we can build... We can build two of these. Okay. Yeah, so now we can build two of these. Then we need to have enough for the airlock, which is... Um, RP says, just watched the channel update in Hello Dave. Brave move. Good on you, mate. I really respect the decision and the reason for which you made it. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, one aluminium, two titanium. One aluminium, two titanium. So now we have for the small airlock, also a corridor. You can jump out of the, you can jump out of the airlock not only from a module but also from a corridor, which is very convenient. A small airlock can be set in the, in any tube. In order to get out into space. 
Through the floor or ceiling of a module. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's what we want. And corridor. Hold on. So, so the small airlock just means that it, uh, it is from the top or the bottom, and this one means it's from the side. I mean, it's the same material, so that would kind of make sense. What's a normal airlock, then? Works as an entrance, actually. It can also work as an exit. Gateway. Dependent on from which side you're trying to get. Uh, but this does not change the essence. The airlock serves for quick access from space. I think we might need a normal airlock. I think this is basically... I think... Okay, we're gonna we're gonna experiment with this. We're gonna need one of these three, but they all use the same material, so that's fine. And we have enough for two of these. Now we need. Hold on, I need. We need two. We need a spreadsheet. That's what we need, guys. We need a spreadsheet. Yes, it is spreadsheet time, my friends. Okay, okay. So for the so. So the materials... How do we do this? Um... Airlock. Protective cover. Oxygen generator. Power generator. And a research table. We need aluminium, and we need titanium. So the airlock, okay, hold on. This one needs lead. So we need four lead for this one, right? For the airlock, we need one and two. For the oxygen generator, We also need one, two, but it also needs an inductor. One. This one needs two and two. Two, two, and a generator. And the research table needs three. Tape. How many tapes does it need? It needs two tape. Two. Two resin. And one titanium. Okay, now we have a bill of materials. I'm gonna put this over here, so I have this on the other screen. Okay, I love spreadsheets. Okay, so let's just see, open this up. Okay, so aluminium, we need seven. We have one, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's just dump some of the stuff in here. Uh, we needed the lead. We need to keep that. Okay. Titanium. We need seven of that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll need to go and get more titanium. Let's go and do that before we do anything else.
Oh, hold on. Titanium, not aluminium. I'm looking for aluminium here. Hold on. Doing this all wrong. Because it's right here. Okay, so we needed one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, done. Okay, we need a generator, we need a, hold on, we have a generator there, transfer that, and then we need an inductor, and for the inductor we need one metal, one plastic, and two wires, okay. One metal, one plastic, and two wires, giving us an inductor. Then I need two resin, two resin, and two electrical tapes. I have one there, and I can build another one from these. Okay, bill of materials done. Let's go and build the thing. We're gonna refill here so we have more oxygen when we are uh, at our built site. I actually ended up being 1,500 meters away. That's beautiful. That gives really good access to all everything out there if this is going to work. Fill it up. Put four pips to engines, yeah. All pips to engines, let's go. One... I wonder what that hat is. There's also these two up there, but they are very much within range now, which if we get this base up and running. And we still have that oxygen station there, that's gonna be our, um, that's gonna be where we're gonna go for, um, for our refill needs. We're gonna use the little fart rockets. Look how close that is. Oh, I see guns up there too, that's dangerous. Okay. Okay, let's take this. Okay, we then build on these side walls here. Yes, we can. So we go build, airlock, confirm. Does that mean that we now can go inside? We can. And there's gravity here. Oh, where's my scooter? Scooter? Okay, we need to burn that oxygen candle. No, I dropped it. That was not what I wanted. Okay. Um, but I think if we go inside now... And we then go and say, um, build a power generator, confirm, and build an oxygen generator. 
Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a room with oxygen and power now. And I'm very thirsty. Both in and out of game, actually. <laughs> This is amazing. Should we try to build that reinforcement just to see how it works? Just because I'm curious. So if I go build... Build. Reinforcements. Ah. Okay. Now we have enough for a second one, but... Does that then reinforce the entire base, or I don't know. Okay, we re 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 reinforce this area. That gave minus 15, those gave like plus 2 to whatever it was so research table um which direction do i want to expand can i put a research table in the corner let me try that i can put a research table in the corner maybe i should have put Put those so there was like in a corner. I'm just thinking if I want to expand the base out in one direction, where, like, what, what direction am I gonna do that? Um, to be honest, likely that way. So I'm just gonna say that the research table goes in this corner over here. Yes. I don't know if it's a good idea. Oh, it needs to be on a wall, side wall. Then it goes there. Research the electrical engineering space suit. Oh, okay. So now we get a table. Ooh. Bribe? <laughs> we can A bribe is all <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So we can get a blaster? We can build a we can build a blaster, EMP grenades, soil analyzers, scrapers, chewing gums, obsolete obsolete accelerators, a modified obsolete in, uh, engine can work quite efficiently on a oh jet accelerator. This one has accelerator plus 25. So instead of the ones that we need Shiwama for, we can get a co two compensators, two inductors, and four titanium. We can get like really good boosts. Oxygen cylinders. Ooh, we need more. What are these compensators? I haven't seen those. Oh, and a vehicle. Two generators. We can, then with a with a and we need energy cores which we don't have. Rocket vacuum cleaner. That's the one we have outside. Can I build them? The compensators? Because we just need a lot of these, basically. Engineering spacesuit. That's what they want us to engineer, right? Electrical engineering spacesuit or normal engineering spacesuit. Okay, we might have a blueprint for those compensators. Okay, back to the spreadsheet. <laughs> so, what do we want to... Um... Yeah, yeah, okay, so what do we want? We want to have the spacesuit, so we need... Okay. Spacesuit. What do we need? Roll. 
a fabric, we need lead paint. Oh, this is lead paint is a pain. And we need aloe. And we need two, two, and four. Okay, we have this vehicle here, which I, I really want. But we don't have the breathage energy cores, but that's probably what we need to power the weapon as well. So let's wait with that. But I think what I really want is that one and that one. And then the blasters is fun too, and the EMP grenades and, and all that. But, uh, but for now, let's go for those two, because those two is, is range extending. It's going to give us more access to more areas. So if we want the jets... The jets, we're going to need titanium, inductor, and the compensators, four titanium, two there, two there. Oh, plus 200 ox, that's gonna give us my... That one is plus 25, so that means we're gonna get 275 oxygen. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is good. This is good. Um, For this one, we're gonna need... Electronics... And generator. So... Four electronics... That's easy. Two generators. I don't know what we need for that, but we'll figure that out. Uh, and two compensators. And those were for for oxygen. Okay, that's our bill of materials. Let's head back and see if we can find. If we can find how much of that we can uh, we can go and find now, this is exciting. All we really need now is a crafting table in there. If we can get a crafting table and storage, we are basically good to go. I wonder how much lead paint I have left. Operation Chicken Coop is a go. <laughs> exactly. Oh, should we just check, actually? Just, now we're just gonna do it just, just to test here. Can we make it all the way back? Did I build this in a, in a sensible location so that I can make it back without having to use the oxygen stations on the half, halfway? Um, you have to do it manually. I actually still have some stuff in the original base that I never really bothered going back for. Um, it's mainly just, like, smaller, like, metals and stuff like that. Stuff that's not too valuable. I, I think I brought most of the valuable stuff out of the old base. Um, but you can see there's still a lot of old oxygen stations out in that direction that I might want to go back and, uh, and and remove now that we have access to... Uh... Okay, so I build it just... Come on. Go off! Why won't he leave it? There we go. Jesus. Oh, I already have a first aid kit with me. Okay. Let's start from an end here. Rolls of fabric. 
don't believe I have any. So I'm just going to transfer some fabric over. Okay, four fabric to one roll of fabric. So that means we need eight rolls of fabric. Oh, eight, eight pieces of fabric. One, two, three, four. Just gonna put the lead back in there. We can, we're probably gonna need the lead here in a minute. Okay, so two rolls of fabric. One, two. Now the lead paint is a little bit more... I don't think I have any more because I used all of it. Yeah, I used all of it to make this helmet. Which is kind of pointless because when you put it on you can't see anything because it's covered in paint. Um, so this is basically just scrap now. But we need paint in order to make more lead paint. But I think I've already looted all the paint there was to loot. Um, so we might have to go back for that. Okay, you know what? Let's just start by seeing if we can actually find... I'm just gonna get from my pile of oxygen candles. Oh, and I need to... <laughs> eat some. Oh, stupid. And drink some. I'm just gonna go and uh, and collect some ice out here. I remember, is this the drill that you need for this, or do you need the handy scrapper? Oh, we just knock chunks off it with a the handy scrapper. Okay, let's head back. Let's make some water. And my, my handy scrapper is also low on durability, only five hits left with it, so... <sighs> we should probably build one of those new enhanced handy scrappers when we're done with all our water things here. Okay, enhanced, enhanced one. We need one refined metal and one titanium. One refined metal, one titanium. Good, now we have that as a backup. Okay, let's go on a expedition. Um, and this expedition is going to have two objectives. Objective number one is to head it back into the paint ship, which is this one over here. Um, 
to try and see if we can locate more paint in there. Uh, objective number two is to try and disassemble some of these oxygen stations out here so we can recoup some of the materials. Actually, that one over there I haven't been to with the long streak out of it. Whatever that is. Alright, but first, paint. We need to see if we can find paint. Now I'm really annoyed that I built that, that helmet and spilled all my paint on, on basically painting a helmet red. And now I can't, that's basically just, yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, it's absolutely, it, 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 absolutely, it's it's on purpose the developers did that. What is this? Okay, so these are lead, so we can get lead here, that's good to know. Oops. Let me just quickly head out here for a bit of oxygen. Because usually we could go down here and see this tank is empty. This tank is empty. This tank is empty. Plenty of lead here. Oh, oh, there's free floating paint. Okay, 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 that's good. Okay, so there is free floating paint in here. Because we really only need two lead paints. That's all. That's all we need. So if we can find enough free floating paint in here. See, there's one. We can spot more of them. Because I kind of thought that was was one, but it's not. That's another. Oh, this is this is nice. I just gotta collect as much as I can, because I don't want to come back here again. Okay. Okay, now we have quite a bit of paint. 
let's just, for good measures... Refill on oxygen. We're just gonna stock up on lead while we're in here. We have three at home, right? I can't remember if I need lead for anything else. Let me just pick up a bit more. Wait, the new... Does it also do more damage then? No, that seems to be about the same. Okay, let's go and take the last action down of this one, disassemble it with our, this one. Not much left, is there? Nope. Mostly the electrical tape that I'm after because uh, no, I can't do that with really me. that one. All right, let's go for our uh, knock of the oxygen station. This one there, also one right there. Let's go for this one. I just want to go up and check out that asteroid up there. I don't think I've been up there actually. Now we can build all the lead paint, which is good. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm gonna go and empty this one, disassemble it, and then fly back. Oh, we're still in the freezing? Oh. Should be out of that soon. There we go. There's not a lot of oxygen in this thing here. Ah, oh, it should be enough just to top off. Perfect. Okay, so now we can make two times less paint.
And the rest of this can go into storage. Good. And we should also have two rolls of fabric ready. Yes. And then we need four aluminium. Good. That is for the spacesuit research. Then we need four titanium. I have two there. I don't think I have anything in here. Nope, but I have two aluminium, which I'm not supposed to. Okay, let's just quickly go out and farm some titanium. Uh, some right here. Okay, easy. So I said I needed four, like that. Good. And now come these compensators, which I really hope we have the material we know how to build. And um, they're probably objects, no resources. Compensator, okay. So how many compensators do I need? I need... Four. So that means I need four more titanium. Start by picking that up. Hopefully we have that. No. Okay. One more. That's one. Come here. Come here. There we go. Okay. So now that we have four more titanium. What else did we need? Then I need eight refined metals and I need four alkali. I don't really I think I used all my alkali. Um there's nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. So let's start by getting the four alkali, and then we need to make the refined metal. So we're just going to need to basically farm some metals as well, because we have none. So metal and alkali is what we're heading out for now. No, oh no, that's with a grabber. I should probably need to head back again. Again for oxygen. We found metal. We didn't find any alkali.
Hmm. That's ice. Aluminium. That's ice. Hmm. Annoying. Well, that was just a shadow. I think we need to head further afield in order to find alkali. Okay, here's the plan. Let's head out to the base because we have enough to start the spacesuit research. I think they take time. I don't think they're instant. Um, and then we can use that as a base of a race and then look for the look at the asteroids out there. See if we can find some alkaline out in that direction. I'm just scanning the surface of the asteroids here as I'm flying by just to see if I spot some. Everything is so stationary, you would think the things would be drifting around. Yeah, the game is not really trying to be physically correct or anything. Hold on, detour. What's this? Interesting. Very. An intact monitoring cabin. If we find some cameras that are connected to it, then we can see something useful. No oxygen is getting low. Go on. You wanted me to scan it just a second ago. Oh, it's that one. Ha <laughs> ha.
Okay. New blueprint. Fair enough. What's about the difference here? When working with electricity, it's not just enough to wear rubber gloves, blah blah blah. blah. Okay. So it takes 15 minutes to research this. So we need to do other things for 15 minutes. Let's just go and see if we can find some of that um, alkali. There's a thing down there. What I have... Okay. Fine. I have an oxygen station with me, so I'll maybe put this up on here if there's anything interesting. Yeah, I'll have to because I'm at the turnaround point now. Okay, there is actually something in there. Let's go and check it out. Kind of storage unit full of food. Like, there's a lot of food in here. Construction kits. That's important. What is this? Oh, refined metals. Actually, some decent loot in here. Plastics, I don't care. I do care about the construction kits. We have enough wires at home. Oxygen's low. Don't fill up. Construction kits are really good because we need those for building the base. There's a handy scrapper in there. We have so many light bulbs now.
fabric is sometimes difficult to find. Uh, okay, let's just take a little bit of plastics. But so many food packs. Okay, just a bunch of loot. I like that we found a handy scrapper in there. 20 durability, just not bad. Low on oxygen, like really low on oxygen. Oh, I actually don't need to go and make some more fuel for this at some point. I'm down to 21. It's also something over there. There's something up there that I could go and take a look at, but... I'm actually most interested in that alkali. It feels like there are some areas where notes of material spawns and there are others where they don't. They just have large areas here where there's nothing. gonna go back and check if the other alkali node is respawned because I think they do respawn Okay, you know what? I think the farming for alkali is going to be uh, gonna be something I'm gonna do some other time because for now I think I'm gonna call it for today. 
Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I have a ton of fun. A game really opened up after we got that vacuum scooter. And with the research and the base that's being built, um, I, I think the game is beginning to really begin to show some... Uh, and we made some good progress tonight. Absolutely. Um, discovered a lot of things. And we also managed to find two more steering wheels, meaning we just one steering wheel down from whatever. And as you can see up in the corner, we now have a lot of missions where we know both need to repair the weapon, we need to find the fuel so we can launch that shuttle. We need to research that... Uh, oh, there was the electrical engineering suit they wanted us to research. Oops, we took the wrong one. Oh well, it's rolls of fabric, lead paint, which we have in buckets right now, and aluminium. So we can just research the other one. Um, bunch of different projects going on right now. Um, yeah, I just don't know which order to do them in. Um, but let's try some. There's going to be a future live stream with this. Don't know when, but I'm going to be live streaming this some more at some point, and then we're going to try to see if we can't find that alkali so we can finish that. Um, we can finish that research for those two last uh, two last things. We'll get the better jets and the better oxygen because those two is really going to help us extend our range. Um, right now, we got a lot more range with that, with that scooter. We can now reach out to like a kilometer or two. Um, I think with that, where we're basically going to more than double our oxygen and we're also going to double our boost speed so we can boost a lot faster. Um, I think we can easily extend that range out to anywhere between two and a half and three kilometers. Um, and that's really going to make it so much easier when we get that long, long range. We can begin to explore faster. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And I hope you will too. But that's good for today. Thanks a lot. Uh, oh yeah, I will be hanging over on Discord just for just a bit. It's it's a little late, but I'll... Oh, this one is in the way. Oh, out of the way. There we go. Um, I'll be hanging out over on Discord for just a bit, so if you want to come by and say hi, then uh, I'll be in Discord in a, in a few minutes after I got a quick bio break. Anyway, thanks for watching, and also next time, I'll see you guys in space.